Mm. So like even at night, I can also I can still have coffee. Like I have, I have a cup of coffee every night when I'm streaming, so that um it doesn't really help me stay awake. I just like the taste of it because I get hungry if I stay up. <laughs> Drink some warm tea but without honey. Just a little bit of milk. Oh, that sounds nice. Oh, oh yes, I love coffee too. Mm. It's gotta be like um, black coffee with no sugar for me. Mm, so good. Oh, ow. <laughs> that was so loud. <laughs> like light or dark roast more or I, I think it's considered dark roast because it's kind of like one of those um, cheaper Asian packeted coffee you know the one where you just it's like in a little sachet and you just put boiled water in nothing too fancy but it does it does the trick don't put in too much water put in just maybe a little less than three quarters and it gets extra thick. Man, the spiky's gonna get me. If you ever seen the brand Kona, it's really really good. Oh, like um is it like I mean like what how do you even say like what which country is it from? Is it like ooh. Is it like an Asian type of coffee? Oh. I just go to like the, the the night market and I just get the uh the whole bag and I think inside there's like how many sachets? 20 or so. Hmm. I live a simple life. I see black sugarless coffee and I just have that. Ooh, don't did not show that up. It's Hawaiian brand. Okay, that sounds really good. <laughs> uh, but I find an Asian market too. Kona, Kona. Oh, I shall. Um, KIV that for next time. I'll see if I can find it. Hmm, love coffee. It doesn't doesn't really help me stay awake. I think I need like minimum three glasses for it to actually work, and I'm not gonna drink that much before I go to bed. Do you like boba? Boba is okay. I prefer coffee. <laughs> because boba is, uh, tends to be quite sweet, right? It's alright. <laughs> All the boba lovers are like, oh, How dare she! <laughs> it's okay. Do you like boba? Oh, boba place like coffee style tea but with regular boba. Oh, that actually sounds really good. I can't even remember the last time I had boba actually. <laughs> Blasphemy! Let's dry the food, if not they'll spoil. Mmm. Does sound really good. Like three days ago, I don't even remember. Maybe like more like three years ago. <laughs> I usually just go to like, uh, cause here like even like hawker centers, we go to like markets and stuff, and then they've got uh, cheap and really good coffee. So usually here is pretty common just to go to hawker centers and then have your breakfast, have a little bit of coffee. So nothing fancy, but <laughs> you need a refresh. Yeah, maybe one of these days. I will. 
I, I guess I don't really have the cravings. Like when I when I see boba shops, I'm just like, mm, I just walk past it. I don't really. <laughs> but maybe like like little cafes or like even if I go to a cafe, I'll be like, I'll have coffee instead of tea. I used to have like you know like those cheaper kind of tea, not like the tea tea, but the brown kind of tea, right? I love those. Like, but then I I upgraded. I would say I upgraded to coffee. <laughs> the more mature adult taste of coffee. <laughs> I never won boba till I see a boba place. <laughs> oh, we have natto. Nom nom nom. I actually never had natto before. Natto is like some kind of bean, right? Don't like beans. I used to actually hate coffee, but now I love it. Actually, same, but that was like probably like way younger. You taste like maybe someone's coffee and be like, eh. <laughs> Alright, now it's like, mm, so tasty. So good. I made some delicious char shoe buns today. You made your own char shoe buns. <sighs> wow. Amazing. You know what I can make? I can make. Instant noodles. <laughs> oh man, that sounds so good. If I if I wanted chashu, chashu pao, right? I just go and buy. It's too much to make it on my own. Some crystal shrimp dumplings. What? What? It sounds amazing. Mm. Making me hungry. <laughs> There's no way real authentic deliciousness. But it was delicious nonetheless, I assume. Mmm. Nice succulent prawns. So, so, so good. <laughs> they all just started yelling at the same time. <laughs> It's like the dim sum style dumplings, the shrimp where you can see inside. I actually really like that one. Oh, I didn't know they were called crystal shrimp dumplings. I was thinking of a different one. I was thinking of maybe the more bigger one. That one's really good. Good morning. Wait, I'm not sure. <laughs> I like to eat dim sum, but I have no idea what they are called. I just look at the pictures and I just point. I want this, this, this. <laughs> Is my rice ready? Sprouting. It's a while to grow rice, huh? Do a Google. You're, you're probably right, because you do the cooking and all that. I just do the eating. <laughs> Okay, it is crystal shrimp. I didn't know it was called crystal shrimp dumplings. Ah, that's such a fancy name. I was thinking of something completely different, I think. <laughs> Have I been saying it wrong the whole time? No, I was, I was pretty sure you were right because you do the cooking and all that. And I just do the eating. I, I literally just point at the menu and be like, I want this and that. I have no idea what they're called. <laughs> but okay, yeah, I think I know which one you're talking about. I really like that one. That one and the, the generic meaty one. Mmm, I just know how to eat. Can't cook. I'm like I'm like this guy, right? He he in theory he knows how to plant rice, but practical he kind of sucks at doing it. So in theory I know how to cook, but practical I'm like mm, ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Wait, what? Some oh Okay. Okay, I think that. Cannot untrust, okay. Press done. Mm -hmm. I like all the food. Yes, I do like all the food. Especially like recent recent years, I think yeah. Recent years I really like spicy food. Mm. 
before this I can cannot handle any spice at all but all of a sudden I had like cravings for like kimchi and your kimchi is usually quite spicy right so yeah it started from then it's like oh all of a sudden I can eat spicy food if not I pick out like the chilies and you know even with like um, I won't really use like chili sauce and anything like that anything spicy so yeah that was the beginning of Mm, that's my stomach suffering because <laughs> as much as I like spicy food sometimes my stomach is like enough enough <laughs> ah, I used to hate spicy food until I started authentic Asian food mm -hmm. like now without chili I'm like how did I even survive you like custard I like custard yum 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 I'm actually not very huge on dessert, but custard, pudding, mm, tiramisu, a few here and there. But if you ask me like between uh, desserts and savory, I'll definitely choose savory foods first. Wait, where? Oh, it's down there, right? Okay. Like looking for the forge, I'm like, where is he? Have you ever had Nai... No, Nai Wong Pao. Let me... Now I have to Google it because I have no idea how that looks like. Nai... Wong... Oh, okay, 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 okay. You're so good at the names. I know what it is. <laughs> Oh, the pictures here, right? They are like quite dry inside, but some of it they have it with like salted egg, right? Then we open it and it's like the ones I like to have is more liquidy. You cook a lot, that's amazing. You know the names. I'm like, what is that? And then I look at the picture, I'm like, I know what this is. I like this. Yeah. I like it a lot. I like the more uh liquidy version. Like they mix it with salted egg, right? And then you, you and then it's like it's like so good. Love it, yeah. Now I know what you're talking about. <laughs> That's the good stuff. So good. Those are hard to make. Yeah, I I, I would think so too. Like something like those Xiao Long Pao, right? Where I think you have to retain the fluid inside, I think it'll be really tough. Power of transformation. The enemies can't defeat any enemies at night yet. So this. That or this. I think I'll do this one first. Is that the soup dumplings? Yeah, yeah. Little, I think, meat dumplings with like liquid inside. And you eat them on the spoon so that the liquid don't leak out. Yeah, Xiao Long Pao. Yep. Yeah, this one I know. <laughs> I just had it. <laughs> Xiao Long Pao. Mm, so good. Oh. You're making me so hungry. Oh. I remember first time trying that. <laughs> but, yep. <laughs> yep. I think the same happened to me too. <laughs> <laughs> definitely learn how to eat <laughs> after that. Oh man. It's so sad when you get beaten up by food. <laughs> Oops. 
But it stays so good. Keeps everything nice and warm and succulent inside. Mm. It doesn't it doesn't respawn yet. What about like oh like recently? Also I found out that I don't mind eating chicken feet. Like the braised chicken feet. I didn't really eat before because it's it kinda of feels like too much effort for so little reward, right? But but recently Yeah, this it's pretty good. Hopefully I'll be moving in with a friend come spring and we may be doing cooking shows on my channel. Oh, that'd be so nice to watch. I had chicken feet recently but I don't like the sauce they cook them in. I'm not sure, you, it's like some brown sauce. I just know they can usually braise it. Right. Mm, it's nice, I like it. You can try for different sauce or something. Oh, ow. Oh, so what do you usually do on your channel? Do you play games too? Ooh. Miss anything? Hmm. Is that it? I think that's it. Okay then, let's head out. Honey, play games on the channel so far? Okay. Okay. What kind of games? Games like this then? Like JRPG style games? Oh, this one. Do this. I haven't been streaming recently since I started a job. Ah. Uh, I see, I see. Hmm. No, it's no rush, right? You can just, you can play, whenever you're playing, you can just stream. I most of the time I just play while I'm streaming because I feel like before I used to play games in between and I feel like I get burned out <laughs> from playing too much. I still play it like Genshin and all that. Uh, Genshin off stream. But my PC is... my PC is bad. It lags so badly. Yeah, I still play off stream, but most of like games like this, newer games, I'll just play it on stream. Okay. Metroidvania style game might start streaming Ori. Oh, I haven't actually played Ori, but uh, will I'm I have it in my like wish list just so I can see when it has discount, and I'll buy it. Akira, oh my goodness, I, I can't play games like that. I think I'm very impatient <laughs> with games like Sekiro or like Dark Souls. I'm like, oh my god, I don't think I can. <laughs> it's in your wish list as well. <laughs> I usually just have them in the wish list just so I can see like when there's discount, then you can choose what you want to buy. Used to be terrible, then recently beat Dark Souls 3 for the first time. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Just ready? Oh, not yet. Wow, thing. <laughs> so I'm arrogant. Well, I, I, it looks very difficult to me, so I say be very proud of yourself. Because if it were me, I, I'd be very proud of myself if I could beat the game. When I, I, watch, I watch like speedrunners, right, for like Dark Souls, and I'm like, how? What? Sheesh. I, I could never. Like, I struggle with just games like um, Trails of Cold Steel. Um, before this, I was playing Oninaki. I struggled a little bit too. And those were like in normal mode, I'm like, hmm. You know, I like the story, I like the character, but when it comes to combat, I... It's just because I, I feel like I'm very impatient, so like games where you have to figure out the combat, the combos and stuff like that, oh, it's not for me. I, I just like blasting my way through. <laughs> 
Mostly want to play with the art style placement in the world and samurai. Yes. So is this why you you're interested in this game too? Because samurai. Oh, I've also watched a little bit of uh, like people playing Demon Souls. That looks tough too. I'm like, how? Why? Oh man, I would be in a world of suffering playing games like that. Oh wait, I forgot to dry my food. Are they gonna spoil? Okay, wait, not yet. Get back to work first. If you play a game called Okam, uh, if you can't tell from the food cycle, I'm obsessed with anything Asian. <laughs> yeah, I, I could never, I couldn't tell actually. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> have you played a game called Okami? Oh, heaven! It's the big wolf with the brush strokes, right? No, I haven't played that. I do want to play. It, it looks kind of like this guy here, Tama. <laughs> this is like his the the chibi version of Okami. <laughs> Look so cute! So tongue up. Uh, the camera is auto. Look at him, he's so cute. He's Tama. Adorable. Alright, wait. I came here for this process. Vinegar, yes. Alright. Now we rest. Beautiful game as watercolor art style. Yeah, I've actually I've seen I've seen the game. Oh no, my garlic. Looks bad. I hate wasting food. <laughs> like five hundred. What five hundred hours into the game? Like how long is the main story for Okami? Yeah, not the garlic. Okay, now we can harvest our rice. Uh, right. Oh, fun. Very interactive. <laughs> oh, I actually really love garlic too. Mm, fresh garlic, cooked garlic. Mm. Okay, I'm ready to replant the rice. I like that they give you freedom to, you know, plant your rice wherever. It's kind of different from like Harvest Moon and or like Story of Seasons, right? Harvest Moon, Story of Seasons, same thing. The good one, where you plant in like little squares. In this one you can choose wherever you wanna plant and then the game will judge you. Even black garlic is so tasty. Oh, actually, have I tried? I don't think I've had black garlic before, but I've seen, uh, I've seen pictures. <laughs> it's, it's just black garlic. <laughs> Does it taste di uh, sweet? Bitter? The game's like fifty hours. Okay, okay, fifty hours is good. I think like a lot of games, right? Yeah, I think you would be. There will be like. 25 hours I I like games that take a long time to play Like recently I finished uh, Trails of Cold Steel 3 and I really really liked it It was a big chunk of main story as well like 80 for me at least 80 hours But take the dried rice and move on to that No? What? There is no rice. What? Oh! Eh? No? No. This, I mean. Ah, okay. They just combine the whole thing. <laughs> ah. you, I made, you made your own, it might taste different from the stuff you'd buy. I've never actually had it. Like, do, do you eat it? Do you use it to cook, right? Like with you use it as garlic or is it like for something else? I don't know. 
Good, I found you. I'm enjoying this food talk, but Roger, I think I'm getting hungry. <laughs> I, I'm getting hungry too, but I have my coffee. Usually when I get hungry, I just pour in the liquid. Don't want to eat too much at night. But you can probably grab breakfast then. Mmm, <laughs> black garlic. Is black garlic like fermented garlic? Or is it like pickled garlic? Hmm. Oh man, I wanna get ug I wanna eat aglio olio today. I have decided I would like to have spaghetti. <laughs> is, it, uh, is this morning or night? I can't even tell anymore. I think it's morning. You can use it to cook. You can use it as a spread on toast or something. Plus. Tons of health benefits. It's fermented garlic. Okay, okay. Ah. Oh, like garlic bread. This sounds really good. Hmm. We got all kinds of fancy food stuff. Google some of the health benefits to help both of us learn. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Sensei. <laughs> Antioxidant, anti inflammatory, anti cancer, too. Lowering hyperlipidemia, anti obesity. Oh, get me some of that black garlic. <laughs> Hepatoprotective, neuroprotective effect. Hmm. It's actually a lot more than I thought. <laughs> mm hmm. That's pretty good. Ah, garlic alone is already super good. Now you make it into black garlic, it's even more amazing. Oh man, I love garlic. Um, my mouth is like watering. <laughs> Missing something? Okay, no, I guess not. Oh no, it's almost night already. Okay, I'm done with that. Mine, iron ore. I can see the mask though. A bit of process to make them fermented takes about four ish weeks. Four weeks. But worth it, I guess. <laughs> Does it taste like sweet? Or how does it taste like? Oops. You have to keep it very humid and rather hot. Oh, mm hmm. Oh, that's interesting. You can't put it in a fridge. But what if? It, oh, I guess if it's cold out, like winter, you just put it next to the heater or something. <laughs> it has to be humid and hot. Hmm. I feel like that would not be a problem for like South like if you're making that in like uh here. Like here in Malaysia it's very humid. Probably be no problem making it here. Hmm. I want ugly olio. Naniko chukuru desuka? It's kind of umami. Ah, okay. Oh Sounds good. Oh man, I'm feeling hungry. I shall have a bit of my coffee to fill my belly. <laughs> Look, they're eating rabbit. Dried rabbit meat, wheat porridge, and water. I like that the food shown here is also different each time. You chug coffee. <laughs> Like coffee, I would do the very same. Mm -hmm. oh, so good. I also like my coffee cold. 
If I'm making this, I usually make it in the morning and I'll just leave it so that it cools down on its own and then I'll have it at night. <laughs> but don't make don't do that with with those with like milk and stuff and cream. I did that once because I forgot that it was not the the plain sugarless black coffee and my stomach did not feel happy after that. <laughs> It's almost bedtime for me, I should not drink coffee while I'm actually tired, right? Yep, yep. If I leave coffee out, it tastes so bad for me. Mm. I leave it in with the sachet. Oh, I did the very same with cream, yeah. Don't, I, my stomach got really upset after that and I'm like, I think it might be the cream. So now I just do with the plain one. Look, it's pitch black. I don't think you can see it, but it's pitch black. It's like fuel. Hey, if it's already late, go and sleep, you know? I'm sure you're very tired and hungry. <laughs> mm. Put a bit of cream and coffee, drank the coffee after I woke up and now it was... <laughs> oh no! It's wasted now! <laughs> Spinning strike. Spinning strike. Up and X. Spin in the air. Ah, okay. So down would be good, I think. You got a fancy French press. It's like the 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 thing, right? <laughs> Damn, fancy. Fancy. I just use like the little sachet and I put it in, I put it with hot water and I just stir. <laughs> like, yeah, you like smoosh it. Mm. Yes. It's different from the drip coffee, right? You smoosh it. This one, you smoosh it. The other one, you drip it. Drip, drip. Move the dried rice to- but it's not dried yet! Not dried yet, game. Right? Raining too. Needs more time. Okay. No, I'm gonna leave it then. I've already come this far. I'm not gonna mess it up any more than I already have. Exploration 8. Do more of this. Hmm. It can't defeat enemies at night. Get salt. Okay. Let's do this until night, maybe, and then go to the other place, gather more stuff. When you smoosh it, you get all the oils in the coffee. Whereas drip style, the water just rolls off the grounds. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Then it's better to smoosh it. Why do people do the drip one then? But I guess the drip one it's kind of like better than just pouring in the water, right? And then you maybe you dilute it, whereas drip it kind of gets it. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> just trying to make sense of why people do what they do with their coffee. I think a drip style is a bit easier. Hmm. No, you know what's easier than that? Just, <laughs> just pouring water. <laughs> Which one? Oh. Ow, ow, ow. Mm. Getting bullied by this pig. <laughs> Instant coffee. Yep. <laughs> This instant coffee but so good. No, I think so far, like the best coffee I've had is actually um, in Vietnam. I think it's kind of like their version of Starbucks called Highland. Highlands coffee. They've got like uh, instant ones for it too, but it was like a it was like a Starbucks setting for it. It the coffee is so thick that they only give you half in like maybe like a large cup. 
kind of like uh, Starbucks size, but they only give you half. I was like, why did someone drink my coffee? <laughs> and then I drank it and I was like, oh, now I know why they only gave you half. It was so strong. <laughs> Helen's sounds familiar. Yeah, they have like a, like a, it's kind of like a Starbucks setting. Like a shop for it, cafe style. You like espresso? Oh, that's a bit too strong for me and a bit too little <laughs> at the same time. I like I like sipping on my coffee. <laughs> espresso is it's okay, but I think oh, oh it's it's too little. <laughs> I like I like just slowly sipping on it. So Having a little bit more is good. <laughs> you want to take a shot of raw energy <laughs> and want to run a mile. I don't, I don't run, so I guess the only thing that I'll be running is probably my mind. <laughs> it's not very good. No, don't want to do that. I like the flavor. Mm, yeah, I think the taste of it is good. Just not enough. Unless you like take, I mean, I guess you're supposed to take slow sips of it, right? Don't is that? <laughs> Don't run. Yeah, instead of us running, we just have our minds run. <laughs> you dream? Wait, you you dream of coffee or you dream of running? <laughs> Both is quite interesting. <laughs> you have like dreams of running and then you wake up and your leg feels tired. I hate that. I wake up and I'm thinking like why the heck am I running in my dream? Just give up. <laughs> oh, ginkgo nut. I mean if I'm being honest, I've dreamt of coffee before. <laughs> It's very specific. Can't say I've had that kind of dream, but you know, you you dream of your deepest, darkest desires, <laughs> and I guess coffee is yours. <laughs> I dreamt of running once, and the leg cramp woke me up. Oh, that's a rude, rude awakening. Oh, I I've had really clear dreams of like running from maybe maybe don't watch horror or stuff like that before sleeping you know running from zombies running from monsters and weird stuff and waking up the next day and my calf is like absolutely dying Like, I love my horror stuff, but sometimes they just creep into my dreams and I do not appreciate that because I want to sleep, I don't want to run in my sleep. <laughs> mm. Mm. Smoked pork. Yes. Smoked pork, smoked duck. Mm. Mm, smoked duck. Make it like, like donburi style, like with rice, a little bit of egg. Mm, nice, delicious. Scary movies don't face me usually. Scary games. Oh yeah, actually there are lots of like really scary games that they actually get me more than horror movies. I feel like for horror movies, it's usually those Thai movies that are pretty good. Haven't had duck yet. Oh, I I think you will love it, duck. And you you would wanna cook it. People say that it's quite difficult to cook duck to get the temperature right. Hin hin. <laughs> mm, smoked duck. Like here, uh, we we just go to like our local, uh, Tesco and just buy the duck. Is this Tesco? No, it's Aeon, I think. We buy the duck and then we just assemble it. Uh, my mom cooks. We mix it with rice and egg and stuff like that. It's really good. Wait. Winter. A month. A, a month passed by already in the game. <laughs> Is it done? It should be dry soon. Okay. 
Now imagine duck is pretty gamey. The hardest meat I've ever cooked was wild boar. I think that gaminess out of it. I I I I don't think it'll be as gamey as wild boar. <laughs> but yeah, I think I don't know. I don't cook, but I like the gamey taste. You know, it, like like lamb. Hmm. Lamb, I feel like it has a pretty strong gamey taste, which I like. I like a lot. Duck is less than that. If that helps. <laughs> Delicious. Like lamb. Like usually lab people will pair lamb with mint mint sauce. Don't like mint. Don't like mint sauce too. So I just have my lamb on its own. Mm, so good. I do too. I love all meat. Mm, I love it. But the people I was cooking for don't like gamey. Oh, they're missing out. You're know, like like people who well, some people can't eat cheese, right? But oh, cheese. Mm, the smell of cheese is so good too. On the gamey, uh, I love lamb. Mm, lamb, is, lamb, mutton. <sighs> Making me very hungry. <laughs> oh. Investigate Eggplant Hollow. What a name for a place. <laughs> Make lamb burger sweet potato. I don't really like sweet potatoes. I like potatoes. <laughs> Rice one night with a good friend. Oh, lamb burger sounds so good. Oh, I've had... Was it lamb or was it beef? I can't remember. Uh, but they made it with uh, beets. Beets, right? B-E-E-T-S. Beets. Oh, it's so good because the beets is sweet. And then I think it was lamb. Either lamb or beef. It's like gamey so it like cancels out each other. It tastes so good. Try it next time if you haven't. I, th I feel like it's a very good combination Eats and either lamb or beef Might have been lamb Yeah That was like good The only problem I had with, it, well, with that was like the beach day It was kind of cold-ish I think if the beets were maybe like same temperature as the burger Maybe it might be better or with like a salad Mm -mm. Oh, ow, ow. Stop. It's super good. It was a good combination, I feel. I love burgers too. Burgers are so good. I did find out recently I do not like takoyaki. <laughs> Texture and flavor are so unpleasant. Oh, is it the, because of the. Oh my god, I, I thought I died. <laughs> Is it because of the doughy texture, maybe? I like takoyaki. I like taco. Oof. Uh, even like, um, what do they call it? Like octopus. Octopus. Uh, just. I think. How did my mom cook it? Like steamed? I think. No, no. Poached. Poached. Not po not poached lobster. Poached. Um. Oh man. As someone who don't cook, I don't know how she cooks it. But I think she she poached it like really quickly. Maybe she boiled it. I don't know how she cooked my the octopus. That was really good. That octopus before very very yummy. That takoyaki was nasty. Oh, is it because of the the flour? It's probably the mixture, right? That that's kind of like maybe that one wasn't good. I feel sometimes with too much flour, it's kind of bad. Takoyaki, I mean. Like you want like a good amount of octopus and uh, a good batter with it. Okay, good. The 
That's why I'm thinking the place might have just stinky octopus. <laughs> Probably. But I feel like you you are not really like a picky eater. I feel like takoyaki is kind of okay. It's probably probably something to do with like the freshness or either that's the better. Hmm. I think for seafood it has to be like super fresh, right? Because if it's not, then it's hmm. A bad experience. I think once my mom and my brother went to have uh, sushi, uh, it's not the it's the egg, the, not the small one, like the big one. Meg, meg, no, is it meguro? No, it's not meguro. Ebiko is the small eggs, right? And then there's like the bigger eggs. They had that. Uh, my brother had it. <laughs> my brother is pretty pretty bad at telling whether food is bad or not. <laughs> <laughs> so he ate it and he was like, mm, it's very fishy. And my mom ate it and she was like, it's gone bad. <laughs> my brother did the same with tiramisu. He had it and he was like, mm, it's a little uh, sour. It has a sour aftertaste. And my mom was like, it's gone bad. <laughs> yes. I love all food. I'm not very picky on never getting takoyaki there again. Yeah, oh, You should try getting it in another place. Maybe it will change your your views on it. <laughs> I think it's probably that place. That place probably <laughs> was bad. <laughs> At Toro. Toro is um tuna, right? Bad sushi is bad. Sour tiramisu. Uh. <laughs> Sour tiramisu. And my brother used to give me poop for. He, he always say like, oh, uh, you always just watch the sh the cooking shows, but you don't cook. I'm like, at least I can tell when the food is bad. <laughs> oh, fatty tuna belly. Mmm. I prefer salmon. Tuna is okay. Like when I was younger, I was like, mm, no tuna. It tastes kind of... Oh, see, like, it's not, not to the point where it's grainy. Oh no, it's night already. I have not even finished this. It's kind of like rough. I don't know, for me. <laughs> Compared to like salmon where it's like smooth and more... Slimy? That slimy is not really the word for it, but yeah, more smooth. Tuna, tuna has that texture yeah. I mostly like tuna belly but I do like the rest a little salmon is so much better overall okay we agree on that <laughs> salmon is better <laughs> so dark oh man this this oh, anything oh I love salmon Oh. Thanks to like the virus, don't really go out anymore. I mean, don't go out much for sushi. Like if I, it's been a while. I think a couple of weeks. We just make them at home. Yeah, delicious, delicious salmon. Mm. Wonder if there's salmon in this game. Be nice to see. Drying. Too soaked. Soaked and freezing. The water don't freeze though. It's winter. Today's the deadline for completing cultivation. If it's not been done, Tuemon will do it, but the quality will be greatly decreased. Oh gosh dang it. Fine. Wait then. Oh wait. Uh, hold on. I need to dry some f food, and then okay. There's a deadline. Since when did I miss it? Didn't see a deadline. Maybe it was here. 
I did miss it. Um, didn't say. Hmm. Uh, <clears throat> I usually make salmon with lemon and likely too much salt. <laughs> Little pepper, whole garlic cloves. Oh. You really dress up that salmon, huh? <laughs> oh, but salmon with like... Like lemon. Mm, so good. Even like raw, raw salmon. Just a little bit of lemon. Mm, it's so good. Oh, wait, okay. Not doing that yet. You make it with lemon, pepper, salt, and bring a little extra and <laughs> garlic. <laughs> mm. Right, so we move to the storehouse. Okay, yep, okay. Hmm. Can go wrong with lemon on seafood. Very true. Very true. Hmm. Or chicken. Mm. I think with like chicken. Do you use like herbs? Herbs, herbs, rosemary and stuff. Kokibashi, what is kokibashi? Oh. What is this? <gasps> what? Oh down a eh? uh. <laughs> How cute. I'm doing it. Making rice. Look at me, mom. Making rice. Look at me. I'm helpful. Oh man, different angles are kind of confusing me a little bit. Yes, I'm getting pretty good at this. Do you use herbs? My garden suffered from the early winter heating so fast. Oh, oh no. Didn't have time to move my plants inside. Oh, that fast? <laughs> Poor plants. Lost all my herbs except my rosemary. Oh no. Well, you can use that rosemary with chicken, I guess. <laughs> oh, feels bad. Had to buy pots as well. What happened to the previous pots? Did they freeze? Oh, I didn't have any yet. Oh. oh no, it's okay. <laughs> you seem to have like a green thumb too, which is good. I feel like it goes hand in hand with your cooking. <laughs> it's my first year for garden and I killed them all. <laughs> well, let's just blame the the weather, right? Weather's pretty nutty this year. Everything's everything's a little crazy this year. The green thumb froze. <gasps> Let's go faster. Oh, we can go quite fast. Oh no. <laughs> well, if it makes you feel better, uh, I easily kill cactus and uh, what do you call it? Succulents as well. I've got a few left there and they are really struggling. <laughs> and we don't even have winter here. It's the same weather all year round. The you may overwater them. I <laughs> I don't think so. I think maybe they're not getting enough. <laughs> I think you can tell from like the leaves, right? The succulents. No winter. From Malaysia. So it's humid and warm year round. The only different weather we have is like sometimes it's uh more rainy. So, like, is it right now? Mm, I don't know. This year is a little bit crazy, but certain months we have like monsoon. Uh, it's not that bad as it sounds. It just rains a bit more. Uh, but for the most part, it's very humid and warm. And hazy whenever our neighbor Indonesia plans to burn their forest. Yeah, they'll donate a little bit of haze over to us too. <laughs> Got one of my best friends from Malaysia. Oh, that's really cool. 
Oh, that's nice. Uh, like, you guys are like friends from opposite sides of the world then. Because for you, wait, kind of opposite? For you, it's like probably what, seven now? But just now you say it was what, six? Has it been an hour? That's cool. Small world, small world. How much longer must I do? There's 70%. My thumb is getting tired. <laughs> Come on, game. Okay. Gail of the Husker. Oh, no, I can't help you. Except she sounds mostly American till she talks to her family. <laughs> I think you're 14 hours. Um, It's 10.30 p.m. So you can do the maths. Thank you. 10.30 <laughs> p.m. We live in the future. Oh man, my hand is really tired. <laughs> Thirteen? Thirteen? Hours? Ah, my maths kind of suck now. <laughs> maths is hard when you're asleep. I'm awake and, and maths is still hard. I used to be so good at maths too. But if you don't practice, it kind of gets bad. <laughs> Okay, 13, yeah. <laughs> it's around there, yeah. <laughs> 10 rice after all that? My thumb feels like it's gonna drop off. Alright, details? Oh man, this is when the game just judges you. Planting time period average. So that's saying I plant slow. Spacing too far apart. <laughs> Amount of sunlight. Temperature, shallow, damage from weeds, low, okay, I took good care of them. Amount of sunlight, average temperature, depth, uh, weeds, so low, uh, alright, alright. So I think it seems pretty good. Rice, dryness, time worked, morning, okay. Thanks game. Really helped with my confidence in making rice. <laughs> this is detailed, it is, it's very detailed. After planting it initially, I was like, oh, it doesn't look very nice. And then right after the game, like, it's too far apart. Like, oh. <laughs> I like that they give you freedom to plant wherever and then judge you after. <laughs> Yeah. Rough winter with just 10, 10, I don't know how much is that, 10 bags of rice or 10 rice. That's how you learn, being told you have made mistakes will boost your ability to do better. That's true. At least now I know that I planted them too far apart apparently. I didn't have enough seeds to plant them close but it's fine, we'll, we'll wait until spring. You haven't do, big guy. I thought it's chilly. Sure enough, snow began to fall. Hmm. I didn't notice snow. Hmm. <laughs> That's how I've gotten better at cooking, failing millions of times. Hmm. Sounds good. Hmm. I wish I had the patience though. I I I feel like I have very short attention span. Like. Uh, I'll be very hyped about one thing and then maybe a few days or a few weeks later I'm like ah no more that's enough <laughs> no it is millions millions of tries and failures and rejections and now you're at the top top of your art yes. ah okay oh Amazing. That one of each. I'm the very same. The one only thing that sticks to me is cooking, music, video games. Hmm. Mm. 
for me, I think it definitely games, <laughs> but also for games. I, I, now at least I try to finish the games, right? But a lot of like, uh, I like to play mobile games and MMORPGs too. Last time, I still do, but not as much anymore. Um, I like drawing, but drawing as in like doodling. Just like rough sketches, I never, I never finish them. Like the moment I, let's say if I want to do it digitally, I get very lazy. <laughs> Unless it's very quick, right? I won't go do any like detailed art. I like to just roughly sketch and roughly color them in. Mm. Uh, yeah. Lots, lots of things. Like sometimes, you know, like the succulents. I'll be, like, oh, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna plant stuff. I wanna do, I wanna take care of these succulents and these cactus, and then they die. I wanna do um, cross stitch, which I did kind of like halfway. These like, uh, it was like a parrot, kind of the size of an A4 paper. I did not finish it, and then my my aunt helped me finish it because <laughs> she's like don't waste and i said like, you can go ahead and finish it because there's no way i'm gonna be able to finish it and then yeah hmm. mostly stuff like that just like in and out 